What's going on guys? Um, so we finally made it to Angeles City and uh, we give glory to God for uh, Pastor John and uh, his whole team being here with us. 14 hours they drove to be here. Uh, we're having some difficulties. We walked the street, we preached on the other side. They won't let us film on the street. They won't let us preach down this walking street. But quite shocking the things that we saw. Just, um, I can't even put into words the level of depravity, the open and flaunted prostitution, bars, everything. So uh, we're here though to reach the people, to make a difference, uh, to help people find Jesus uh, in this darkness, to shine that light. So I want to give Pastor John uh, a moment to speak. I give glory to God, as I said, for him being here. We want to be as effective as we can, so we need your prayers. I want to give you an update uh, that we are here for the next, what, three days or so? And we're going to be preaching as much as we can. Uh, we're going to be praying as much as we can because we need to be equipped. The darkness and the, the spiritual oppression you feel in the atmosphere, I can't even put it into words uh, what it feels like. So it's a very heavy environment spiritually, but we know that God's power is greater. So, uh, Pastor, can you share with us about um, your thoughts on, on what this looks like, feels like? Yeah, there's a, of course, there's always a temptation to uh, kind of look down on, on the prostitutes and their customers, you know, and, and judge them and everything. But, um, you know, probably most of these people have so much shame and they hate what they're doing. Uh, I would say even the prostitutes and their customers, they hate what they're doing. The customers are probably addicted. The prostitutes are probably ashamed of what they're doing. They probably feel like they, they need the money and they can't think of any other way to get, to earn money. And um, and so God has called us to have compassion on, on people like this and, and not judge them, not, not look down on them. Uh, I have to remember I'm a sinner too and saved by grace. Uh, you know, and uh, just, um, and uh, yeah, we, we just need to find a way to to get this message in there, um, like uh, like Sir Philip said, it's uh, you know we're not allowed to preach there within the street, but um, you, we we just you need to find a way, and uh, we're hoping that within the next few days that we'll, that the Lord will open up that door. So um, so yeah, that's that's awesome. Thank you. Um, you know we're able to kind of catch people coming in and going out on the outskirts on both sides of the street, and uh, but there's so right like these situations it's not something that you see very often it's a very complicated delicate situation where souls are hanging in the balance and uh, we need to be able to reach them in a way that's meaningful that's gonna make a difference and uh, it takes precision and it takes care and it takes a lot of love the reason why people are engaging in this is because they're very broken but God can heal God can restore God can help us to be who he created us to be so this is one of the darkest areas I know in the entire world. And I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. I just mean like this place needs the love of God. And so we want to be used by him. We want to pour out his love. I pray that you will stand with us uh, in spirit, in prayer, financially. Uh, but, but really, my heart is that we make a difference. That's the only yeah. reason why we're asking for you to pray for us is that we're effective. We out here, we can make a bunch of noise. If no one gets saved, no one re reacts. We've wasted our time. We want souls to be affected by the message, uh, to find Jesus, to find hope, to find a way out of this darkness. Uh, so I don't want to be overly repetitive, but please pray for us while we're here. We have such little time. We want to make a big impact. Thank you so much for uh, standing with us, Torch of Christ Ministries, and uh, Compass Christian Church, right, uh, out of Arizona. Uh, Brother John has been here in the Philippines for how many years now? Uh, almost 11. Almost 11 years serving diligently and faithfully. And, and I give glory to God for him. We met back in 2018, I believe, in southern Philippines. Now we're in the north. And uh, by the grace of God, we're hoping to be effective here. Thank you for your prayers. And I'll give you another update as soon as I can. Thank you.